Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and they're missing their nudge tool. They can't find it. It's not in the menu bar. Well, two, two scenarios. One, if you have something selected, your nudge, your nudge is gone because it's doing, it's it's adding other things that you need with the rectangle tool. You you or the rectangle, you can make rounded corners and you know uh, make the corners rounded on one end or the other, like that. So with nothing selected, your nudge tool should be right there, which that is right there. So that's your nudge distance. This is your duplicate distance. I've always, I'm a big, uh, uh, I advocate for zero, zero. And actually on this, I advocate on a laser engraver for point zero, zero, one. So if you keep it there, you can change it any time. Now, if you have something selected, it's gone. If you don't, and if it's still gone, you can go to this plus sign and make sure that it's checked. And there it is right there. By chance that's unchecked, then your nudge distance is gone. But if you have that checked, that should be like that. You know, the couple other things you could do when you're kind of just starting out, you can do that and just kind of think like, what is treat all objects as field? You know, which is right there. And that's a pretty important uh, and so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Let's let's make a duplicate of this rectangle. And you see when I click on the any part of the rectangle, I get the rectangle. If you have this unchecked, you have to click on the line. You can't just... So it's treating it like it's feel. The only downside, you can't tell if it's on or off. Uh, there it's kind of white and there it's kind of grayed off. So when it's white, it's effective. But once you change that, then you ought to be good on that. And just while we're doing it, you, uh, I changed this and I'm changing all the corners. You can type in uh, two, you know, change all the corners. And if you have this unlocked, then you can just change that bottom left corner and change the top right corner and not change the other two corners. So if you're ever missing a tool up here in the menu bar, it ought to be this plus sign, same as down here on the toolbox or toolbar. And worst case scenario, if none of that works, uh, turn Corel off, hold down the F8 key and, and restart Corel and, and keep your hand on or your finger on the F8 key. It'll come up that if you want to set it all back to to the default and it will and then everything will be back anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching